Hi guys, it's me, Mary Fazbear, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be discussing something. Now, I'm certain all of you guys from half around the world are news about this Obamacare and how it's going to go away if Trump's elected again. I'm here to tell you some stuff about Obamacare. But first, I want to tell you the reasons why Trump should not be elected as president. Here are 10 reasons why Trump should not be elected as president. He has no empathy for compassion for anyone suffering for Black Lives Matter and COVID-19, and we have a new crisis before COVID-19 came. COVID Trump. Reason number two. He keeps telling lies. Do you want a president that tells lies to this country and to the entire world? This COVID-19 is not going away. This is the president. Our president of the U.S. has literally told us that, oh, it would go away in um, February. It would go away in Easter. It's still here. He keeps saying there's a vaccine coming and he keeps lying, people. He is a fucking liar. I mean, seriously. Do you want a president to, that can keep on lying his ass off over and over and over? No! I don't want one. He doesn't... Reason number three. He doesn't respect... For women's... For women's rights. Well, first time when he got elected, uh, there were lots of rumors, and they were true, about him touching women. Like, grabby grab. No, disgusting. We women who are smarter, we, un we know and we understand better that we hate him. All right, reason number four. He hangs out with Democrats or our enemies. He hangs out with the enemy. Who the hell hangs a president, a good one, out of our country, hangs out with the enemy? Do you want a president that wants to be our enemy? Hmm? No. Vote for Joe Biden this year. We need to vote for Joe Biden. Now, people, now! Okay, reason number five. He doesn't seem like a decent human being. Because, one, he spread COVID-19 to his entire family. Does he want his entire family to say goodbye to the world and go, go as angels and stuff? No! And my father was still alive, plus he died in 2015. If he had COVID, if he was still alive, if he gave it to me, I would just flick him like this on the head and tell him, go to hell. Who the hell do you think you are, dad, of giving me COVID-19? Well, my mom got it from my, from her friend, then I got it. That was back in February. Okay, reason number six. He tries to undo Obamacare and laws that Obama and others put in place to protect. Protect the, like, environment. Environment stuff is real, people. If the environment stuff goes, how are the, how is anything going to give us, like, peace and love? The earth, the earth literally fills is filled to the air. And plus, it's beautiful outside. But if we get rid of it, who the hell's going to clean up all the trash from pollution and stuff? No one! If he gets rid of that, and if he gets rid of Obamacare, how and me and mom are going to pay for our hospital stuff and all of our stuff? Plus, I'm trying to find a job. Mom doesn't have a job for the past few years. 
She only gets it from the government, and that's all. Okay, reason number seven. He wants... Okay, there we go. Hang on a second. Nah. Five and six were the were the Obamacare and involvement and stuff. Environment. Okay, reason number seven. He wants transgender people out of the military. One of my friends is transgender. Anyone can go in the military, whether they're transgender, gay, bisexual, any type. Black, women, men, strong women, uh, people, anyone can go in the military. Who cares if they're trans? Who cares if they're gay? Who cares about whatever? Don't do that. If they want to go in the military, that's their choice. You cannot force them to go in or out of the military. And reason number eight. Number eight. He wants to divide the country. If he divides the country, like if he gets black women to go back to Africa, few of my friends live in Salem and they are black. I would never see them again. If you have people who are black and if they, if he divides that country, you're going to say goodbye. The only reason to save that is to vote for Joe Biden. Because I don't want to see my friends go. That will break my heart and I will cry my eyes out if they leave. Okay. Reason number nine. He only cares about... Uh, I'll put it down. Well... That's the reason why that he cares about it. Because God knows why. Because he's a... Um, have you heard of a, something called an Oompa Loompa? An orange head? Like this? Oompa Loompa Loompa Dee Doo. He's an Oompa Loompa. He has no idea what he's doing. Women of this country are smarter. We are smarter. We are brilliant. We are independent. We need to be rid of this Oompa Loompa as president and come forth with a brand new president who will not divide the country, will not get transgenders off of the military, and will not get, like, flowers and, like, evolution... Environment, Obamacare, we must save Obamacare. Because without it, how am I going to help mom help her with it? She can't pay for my hospital bills if that happens. And reason number 10, he doesn't understand laws and the country of the limits of power of the president He's a dickhead. Like, I don't know. Like, he's an, e he's an evil man, guys. Those are all of the ten facts that we cannot, that why the reasons why we cannot let Trump become president for the second election. It is coming up. Vote right now. This time tomorrow will be the last day to vote for for the president. If you all enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and vote for Joe Biden. And as always, I'll see you on the next video. Peace out, everybody. U.S. forever. Bye.